e-commerce company is spending a lot of time and money developing its own ways of delivering packages. It's been investing in freight trailers and cargo planes, it's testing small wheeled delivery robots, and it's even offering its own employees $10,000 to quit their jobs and start delivery businesses. This is all part of an effort to get packages to customers more quickly and more cheaply, and drones could add to this fleet. The company first talked about doing drone deliveries six years ago. So what's taken so long? There are a lot of challenges to delivering by drone, and Amazon has made the challenge even more complex by requiring its drone to be autonomous and fully electric. That means its drone has to be able to carry packages and have enough battery power to reach customers' homes, but be light enough to fly. It also has to learn how to identify and avoid obstacles and objects on the ground and in the air. The newest drone is shaped like a hexagon and it can fly in a hybrid fashion. That means it can take off vertically like a helicopter and then tilt to fly forward like an airplane. The drone uses cameras, thermal imaging, and other senses to detect objects and navigate the world around it. People and animals on the ground, power lines to avoid, and other objects in the air, like paragliders. Amazon says it hopes to begin drone delivery within months, but it still needs regulatory approval to do so. So far in the US, only Alphabet's Wing Aviation has permission to operate a commercial service, and that's only in a small area of Virginia. So if Amazon does receive approval, it'll likely be for a limited scope program. It's not just regulators that need to be won over, it's consumers and their neighbors who have to be convinced that drones are convenient and not dangerous as they fly overhead and deliver packages to people's backyards. Mm -hmm.